you know, obviously we had the opportunity to look at the tape and, uh, you know, a lot of good things. It was a good day uh, for our guys. Uh, you know, really happy to see them have the opportunity to go out and celebrate, enjoy a win, and, uh, you know, uh, just go out and play uh, like we know they're capable of playing. Uh, I thought it was a pretty complete game. You know, we struggled a little early on defense, but I thought we really settled in. Uh, we had a great performance from Damon Hayes. I thought he, he really played fantastic. And, you know, Avery, Avery Young with a huge tackle on the goal line, I thought that really changed the game. Uh, on the offensive side of the ball, I thought that, uh, you know, we played a pretty complete game. Uh, the last few weeks we've been much better on third down, which has been a major issue for us the last few uh, really last few years. Uh, so, you know, to, to start to see some change in that, hopefully there's some things to build on and what we've done on offense. You know, it looks like there's, there's some growth, and hopefully we can keep doing that. There's been much better balance. Uh, in you know who's you know the ball distribution, which is really important. Uh, I thought that we had the type of balance that we would look for uh, in the run pass. You know, not not necessarily in the number of passes, but in the you know uh, in the, I guess what we were able to get out of the 21 throws that we used. So in uh, all in all, I thought that was all really good. Uh, you know, and we're getting ready to play a, a pretty good Illinois team that seems to be on a roll and getting better. They've had a couple really big wins. So uh, it'll be a great challenge for us. And I think the kids are excited to get back to work and, and you know, play this next game. You had a, a, the fourth down call early in that game against Liberty uh, in your own territory. If it goes the other way, this game could have gone the other way. I'm curious about the aggressiveness of that decision and if in, in general you find that with the way the team is being more aggressive on, on downs like that or a strategy you have to take. Well, you know, I think obviously if you – you better believe you're going to get it, I guess, if you're going to do it. I, and I think there's a time and place for everything. And it, to me, it was a little bit of a no-brainer. I mean, they went down and scored. And if we gave them the ball back and went down 14 nothing, you know, I'm not sure that uh, at that point our team would have – that that would have been a great thing for them. So I thought, you know, if we're going to – you know, we're going to play to win, and we're going to show them that we have confidence in them, and we're going to go make some plays. And, you know, at the end of the game, uh, you know, we, we're involved with some of this analytics stuff. And, uh, you know, when it came back, they, they kind of agreed with the call. You know, obviously there's a lot of risk involved anytime you go for it on fourth down in your own end. But, uh, you know, we, we liked the play that we had called. We liked the matchup, and, you know, we thought that we would get it. And, you know, thankfully we did because if we didn't, like you said, it definitely could have been a major swing in momentum. Just as a follow-up, is that, is that something you've done in the past? That you're, are you usually an aggressive guy in those situations? I have been that way since, I don't know, since the day I was born. You know, it's just that's the way I was raised. You know, I mean, my father was that kind of guy as a coach. It's, uh, it was kind of the way I played. And, uh, you know, as a coach, that's always been the way that I would prefer to play. You know, I, I think that, uh, you know, we should you should play to win. But it doesn't mean that you you also have to recognize the game and how it's going. I mean, if it's going to be a low-scoring defensive game, you got to punt that ball. You know, if, if, you, if you're not sure what it's going to be, you know, and it, 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 a lot of it depends on the situation. So, you know, over the years, I would say that, you know, I've made mistakes where I thought, you know, this is what we would do the last seven years, but this year we really aren't the type of team that can run, you know, get this situation. So I think you live and learn that way. But I thought that was one we needed to go for. Does any pressure come off your shoulders or the kids' shoulders now having gotten back in the win column, or is there still, you know, a sense of urgency trying to move things forward here, you know, throughout this throughout this season? Uh, I mean, I hope that there's a little stress relieved from uh, from the players, but at the same time, I mean, there has to be a major sense of urgency going forward. And you know, we, we've got four games left here to continue to improve, and that's kind of the thing I've been trying to say the whole time. Is in the end, uh, you know, I want this team to be better in December than we were when I was put in this position. And the, you know, this game is going to be a huge step towards that. They're a really good team. They're playing really good defense, and you know, we, we need to be able to build off some of the stuff that we did. And uh, you know, I, I think that defensively, we maybe start to get a little confidence in the second half, and uh, we're able to make some plays. And hopefully, that there's some stuff that we could build off there too. Johnny gets a co-freshman player of the week in the Big Ten. Comment on that and also the growth you've seen in him over the last few weeks? Well, uh, yeah, obviously I'm really happy for him and really proud of him. It's a, uh, it's a tremendous accomplishment, uh, you know, because, you know, a couple of weeks ago people were saying that guy's not a quarterback. And, you know, I, the truth is that there's – there's a major learning curve for those young guys. And, you know, I mean, there's some really tough defenses coming down the road. So, I, you know, I'm not you know, certain that we're going to go out and throw for 300 yards or something next week. But I do think that the work he's put in in practice, he's starting to get those reps. I, I kind of mentioned this on Saturday that, 
you know, I told the whole offense, you know, we've kind of just finished training camp. We just finished four weeks in, you know, getting these reps in this offense. So, you know, we started doing a better job of he got us in the right plays, you know, the right run checks, you know, the right passes, the right reads, got the ball out of his hand faster. Uh, you know, he just – was a much better decision maker on Saturday, and hopefully that will continue to grow. But, you know, I mean, I'm really proud of him, yeah, and I think that uh, there's a chance for him to continue to develop that over the next four weeks, absolutely. Coach, uh, along those lines, uh, two questions I'll ask you one at a time. Um, one, you talked about that, that growth and learning there. Also, what about, you know, you're the quarterback, you're the starter, you're the leader of the offense, even though you're not like, necessarily a captain per se. But how have you seen him embrace that leadership role of that offense? Because obviously going from, you know, the third string to being the starter is a, is a big difference. Now you've got to command that respect to your teammates and all. Uh, I think last week was probably the first time. I think the first week he was a little better at it because it just happened, you know, like, hey, Thursday, we're walking to practice, like, hey, by the way, you're going to start today. So it was kind of – I don't think that he spent a lot of time – overthinking it and then I think for two weeks he probably spent a lot of time overthinking it you know and he was trying to be somebody that he's not just trying to be like you know a perfect quarterback and I, I don't think that that would be fair uh, for any young guy but last week he went out and practiced and said hey, I'm just going to cut it loose I'm going to go make some plays and he did that and now I'm sure the guys around him have a little more confidence in, hey, yeah, we actually can go do this because it's a major piece to the puzzle. So uh, I think that this past week he established himself much more as a leader in practice, and he played with much more confidence, and because of that, you know, the performance was better. And the second part of that is, you know, it's well documented now that he kind of came to you and said, listen, I have to do what I do. I'm trying to please everybody else. Can you just talk about having, having coached him and, and you guys won a championship together? What kind of quarterback you saw as compared to that guy that you saw that won a championship? Uh, the the guy that I saw on Saturday is the guy that I coached, you know, for all those years. And, you know, he's, you know, I don't know that he's ever going to be a prototypical, you know, Peyton Manning type of quarterback. I, you know, I, he's not. But I think you can win a lot of games in college football uh, with his skill set. You know, and you see a lot of guys, you know, I always say over the years that guys like, you know, Taysom Hill and, and – uh, Colin Klein and, you know, Tim Tebow's obviously was a Heisman Trophy winner. That's, you know, tough, you know, rarefied air to put someone in. I'm just saying that his skill set, you know, I think lends well to college football. He's a big, strong, you know, tough, athletic guy. And you kind of have to build your team around those skills. And one thing that we have is we have a bunch of different guys that we can put the ball in their hands and let them run. And, you know, some of our receivers will hopefully – continue to emerge, you know, we were finally able to get the ball to bow a little bit. So some of those things made it easier for him to do that, and I think that was good. So, you know, I, I don't know that he's ever going to be, the, you know, that traditional drop back and throw it 50 times a game guy, uh, but he at least showed on Saturday that he can make, you know, he can make a bunch of throws, and he did. With the season starting to wind down, do you have a plan mapped out about the red shirt guys and who's playing, who's not? How, how do you handle that? Uh, well, we evaluate it every week. Uh, there's not a lot of guys that are left in that. Four, I mean, the freshmen, uh, you know, there are some guys that, you know, they've been playing special teams and we'll just stop playing them. Uh, there's a couple other guys that, you know, we'll kind of communicate with this week and next week about where they sit in that situation. Uh, you know, there's a couple, like, sophomores and juniors that maybe have played in their four games and, you know, we'll decide what we're going to do with them these next – you know, in the next week. So I, I think that we'll have a, a really much clearer picture. Uh, and there are some other guys that have not barely played at all, so they'll definitely get an opportunities to play, at least on special teams. So it is something that we're constantly looking at. Uh, and I do think that if if the situation were different and uh, that some of those guys, we would just be like, hey, you got to play. But right now it's a little different. I think, it, you know, we're trying to do what's fair and right for those guys and their future and the future of the program. Just to follow up, are there any specific guys that we haven't seen that we're going to see? Oh, boy. I, you know, just some of the freshmen, I guess, on, like, uh, special teams, that you know, guys that have played a little bit, like, you know, uh, Brian Ugu and Mohamed Ture and maybe uh, Zakudu and uh, some of those guys. Christian Dremel played a couple snaps in the Minnesota game. He'll probably get some work in these next few weeks. we got some guys that are a little banged up uh, at wide receiver. So, I mean, that, mainly those guys, more younger guys. Just about Illinois, this looks like it's a team that's um, about to turn the corner and in a similar situation that Rutgers was in a few years ago, trying to fight its way out of the – do you see any parallels there? And what do you think that they've done to, to get to that point? Well, one, I, I think they play really hard. You know, I, I, I do. I think that uh, 
it's evident in all three phases that they're playing with great effort. And obviously, that you know, even just a couple of weeks ago, uh, you know, people were saying, uh, you know, oh, there really hasn't been any growth. And uh, you know, obviously, then you go out and beat Wisconsin. And you know, the truth is, it's hard to win games in this league. And uh, they, I think, they're playing really hard. They've got uh, really good speed. They've got talent. Uh, you know, they changed a little bit offensively from last year, probably more, you know, based on the quarterback than anything. But, uh, you know, they're, they're entertaining to watch. I mean, I, I, you know, the last two games on defense, they've been pretty dominant. And, you know, they managed to get the points in the 30s, you know, almost every week. You know, last week they played in a monsoon, so that was, that was tough. But, um, you know, I, I think they're a pretty good team. Since the win the last couple of days, have you seen a difference in the team confidence-wise? I, I hope so, but you know the truth is, we, I don't think you'll really know till we get back to work and get on the field on Saturday. Because you know it's great to win a game, but you know one of the big things I, I told uh, the entire team is, you know we've talked a lot about dealing with adversity, uh, but now we got to talk about dealing with prosperity. You know it, it, nothing changes. If anything, there should be almost you know to the earlier question like a greater sense of urgency to go out and continue to improve. And you know that that'll be the thing that I'll be really curious to see when we really hit the field on Tuesday. You know, how, how excited are we to go out and compete and try to build off Saturday? Anything else, guys? Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks, guys.